This is problem 40 of chapter 13, Junk List Expedition. So we have this balloon, it's a child's helium filled balloon. Initially, it's at sea level, so that means we know that the pressure, the absolute pressure is 1 atm. And initially at a temperature 20 Celsius. So very careful, write this in Kelvin. Remember, when we are playing with this PV equals nRT, when we are dealing with ideal gas, we write temperature in Kelvin. So I'll call this one P1 and this is P1. I do not know the volume of this initial um, balloon. I'll just write it as V1. Now, this, this balloon escapes, escapes and goes high up, uh, reaches a very high altitude. They give us the number. And now the temperature is much lower there. It's 5 Celsius. Again, let's put this in uh, Kelvin. So 5 plus 273. And at this uh, new temperature, this very high altitude, it has a different pressure, smaller than 1 atm, and each person has a number there. Okay? The V2 is not given to us. The V1 is not given to us, and the question of this problem is, what is the ratio? Okay, what is V2 over V1? This is the question. Okay, so here I have P1, V1 equals to N R T1. I'm going to put T1 here so that on the right I have something that is constant. Okay? On the other side, I have the new. P2, V2 equals to NR, and I'm going to P2 here. So this is a constant. Okay, so this is equal to that. I can play with this uh, fraction. P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. From here, I'm going to be able to find uh, the volume, not the ratio of this volume. This is V2 divided by V1, that's what we are after, is equal to P1 multiplied by P2, right? Divided by P2 divided by T1. You see that, right? So I have V2 here, and I have V1 here, so I put the V1 down, and um, on, the, on this other side, I have P1, I have T1, no, I have P1, I have T1, I put P2 here, I put P2 there, okay? All right, so this is now how you're going to solve. Yeah? From here, you're going to get the ratio that we are after. Now, you may wonder, how about the units? Don't, don't, you don't need to worry about the units because the temperature, you're already changing to Kelvin. So that's the important thing you already did up here. And the pressure, you're going to be using both in ATM, okay? And now you're going to get an answer. This ratio between the, the volumes will be just a number without any unit, okay? So that's it.